Hello friends, I am Rajneesh and today in this section we shall understand how to configure networking on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 server. To demonstrate this we have a virtual machine station 9 and we will be configuring networking on it and we will be changing the host name from node 9 to station 9. Let us see how. Login into it and check the status of the networking if you are just typing the command if config you can see all the interfaces that are up so right now you can see that there is only one interface which is local loopback and which has the default IP address as 127.0.0.1 to see all the interfaces that are available to the operating system whether they are up or not we will have to type the command if config minus a a as in all so you can see that there is one more interface eth0 which doesn't have any IP address corresponding to it so our objective is to configure this interface eth0 so to configure it let us just move to the folder slash etc sysconfig network scripts and here you can see that there are multiple files if you can see the first file which is if cfg eth0 which states the configuration details stored corresponding to the interface eth0 here you can see the details the same you can see corresponding to local loopback LO. Here you can see that the IP address corresponding to it is 127.0.0.1 and the device name is LO. So coming back to our objective which is configuring interface ETH0. Device name. It must be present. In our case this is ETH0 boot proto let's change it to static or none hardware address let it be default NM control means whether it's controlled by the service network manager or not so in our case we'll not be using network manager so mark it as no on boot equal to no which simply states that the network interface should not be brought up when the machine is booted up we are just changing on boot equal to no to on boot equal to yes so whenever the machine boots up the interface should be brought up the type is ethernet and now we will be specifying the IP address details IP ADDR equal to will be assigning static IP address 192.168.1.9 netmask 255.258.258.0 and gateway which is the default gateway as 192.168.1.1 write and just quit so the second objective is to add the resolvers or the name servers for it just open the file slash etc resolve.conf press enter and enter the name servers name server 192.168.1.101 which is our name server or the DNS server and we can have one more option search domain name so in case we are just using the host name like station 10 station 11 it will by default add the domain linuxcbts.com as suffix so we'll write and quit 
and now just try to restart the networking and type the command if config which states that the interface ETH0 is now up with the IP address 192.168.1.9 and the mask as 255.255.255.0 which is what we set to, che to check the routes or the routes just type the command route-n and here you can see corresponding to the destination 0000 and genmask 0000 the gateway is 192.168.1.1 which states the default gateway so the default gateway that it will be using for any network traffic will be 192.168.1.1 let us confirm whether we are able to ping the default gateway and yes we are able to the second thing we should confirm after setting up the networking is whether we are able to resolve the stations and the domains or not for that just type the station name and here we can see that it has been appended by linuxcbts.com the reason why it has been done is we have added search linuxcbts.com in resolve.conf so it by default added linuxcbts.com corresponding to station 101 what in case if we are adding the domain name so it won't try to add anything because it is able to resolve it directly so here we have confirmed that we are able to ping the default gateway we are able to resolve everything so our networking is now working fine the final thing that we could confirm is whether we are able to resolve the public sites and ping them or not yes we are able to resolve a public site yahoo.com and able to ping it it means our networking is fine so the last thing that we will be doing is adding routes to add routes we'll have to come to the same folder slash etc sysconfig network scripts and we will be adding a file route eth0 so whenever an interface eth0 is brought up or down th those routes were added or deleted let's add a route corresponding to the network 10 0 0 0 slash 24 via so this route states that if there is any traffic that is to be sent for the network 10 0 0 0 slash 24 bits it should be sent to 192.168.1.5 .1 as a gateway just write and quit let me confirm the file name that we modified it was slash etc sysconfig network scripts route dash eth0 if we type the command route n I cannot see any route corresponding to the network 10 0 0 0 let us just restart the networking the network interface ETH0 is now up and if I am seeing to the routes typing the command route minus n I could see one more route which is corresponding to the network 10 0 0 0 with netmask 255.255.255.0 and which is sending the packets to the gateway 192.168.1.5 which was the static route that we added corresponding to the interface ETH0 so with this we complete our topic on the basics of let us now change the host name from node 
9 to station 9 For this we have to modify a few files one is slash etc slash hosts here corresponding to this node 9 we'll change the host name to station 9 and the same is here so it states that the IP address 192.168.1.9 is corresponding to station 9.linuxcvts.com and station 9 write it and quit the second file that is to be modified is slash etc sysconfig network which is responsible for assigning the host name to the server change the host name to station 9 write quit and just reboot the machine as soon as the machine is rebooted and it comes up you will be confirming that we have the host name changed to station 9 and we have all the routes that were added by us available right now let us just boot okay now login into the server type the host name the host name is station 9.linuxcbts.com fine host name is changed L let's confirm the IP addresses yes 192.168.1.9 perfect let's confirm the routes yes we have the route we have a static route corresponding to 10.0.0 that was added by us in the file if cfg dash route slash etc sysconfig network scripts if cfg route 0 uh, sorry, it was route ETL0. So here we can see the static routes. So let's check out for one more thing. What if we have to assign multiple multiple IP addresses to the same interface? For that, just move to the folder sysconfig network scripts and just copy the file if cfg eth0 to if cfg eth0 colon 1 just open the file and change the device name from ETH0 to ETH0 colon 1 and change the IP address from 192.168.1.9 to 1.10 and there could be a single default gateway so we'll just comment it rest all is fine just restart the networking and just confirm here you can see that one more interface ETH0 colon 1 is now up with the IP address 192.168.1.10 which was our objective so with this I end up with my session in networking thanks for listening